You may see his picture hanging on the carts of poor farmers in Egypt, or on a car loaded with vegetables in a North African village, or on the wall of the room of a young cinema-loving young man in the Levant, with whom Arabs have a special relationship, loved by Greeks, Mexicans, and movie lovers in general in the world. It is the Mexican-American actor Anthony Quinn, whose 114th birthday passes in April this year, and who is considered by many critics to be among the best actors in the history of world cinema, and the man who excelled especially in playing the roles of historical heroes of other nations and countries. How did this man succeed in etching his name in letters of light in the hearts of these lovers, and why do the Arabs relate to him with that special relationship? This is what we are trying to track with you. First Latina to win an Oscar Anthony Quinn, who was born in Mexico in the aftermath of the Mexican Revolution, began his life as a theater actor for a short period in the 30s in America, and then tried to move to the cinema, but he was only given the roles of indigenous people and Latinus, which are of course small roles, but most of them are done without showing a name who performs it. Actor Quinn is of Mexican descent and is the first Latino to win an Academy Award. Getty Images Actor Quinn is of Mexican descent and is the first Latino to win an Academy Award. Getty Images Quinn's struggle against stereotypes continued and at the same time he obtained US citizenship at the end of the 1940s. Quinn made his big debut in the play A Streetcar Named Desire by Tennessee Williams which was then turned by director Elia Kazan into a movie in 1951, in which Marlon Brando starred. After that, Quinn and Brando collaborated in another movie, Viva Zapata, about the popular story of the rebellious Mexican hero, also directed by Elia Kazan. Best Supporting Actor category, becoming the first Latin American ever to win an Academy Award, and starting from this moment on a very distinguished artistic career. The message, how does Islam reach the West? Quinn's cinematic success continued in the 50s after the movie Viva Zapata, and he became a permanent hero for major roles, including his starring in the Italian movie La Strada, which many consider one of the most prominent works of Italian director Federico Fellini. In the 60s, Quinn's age increased and decided to move to roles that suited him at this stage. So he participated in the epic movie Lawrence of Arabia, and although it is an English movie, Quinn seemed from this moment to know him for Arab roles. At the beginning of the 70s, the Syrian director and producer Mustafa al akkad tried to turn an old dream of making a film about Islam into a reality. al akkad wrote the script and obtained the approval of Al-Azhar al-Sherif for it. al akkads goal in the film was to create something like a bridge between Islam and the West because he personally felt that true Islam was unknown to the Westerners who lived with them throughout his life. Anthony Quinn Quinn's performance in the role of Hamza bin Abdul Muttalib uncle of the Prophet, may God bless him and grant him peace, was honest and influential in Arab viewers before foreigners, and the Arabs felt that this man not only imitates their appearance or way of life, but in fact embodies it and respects it and behaves through it very naturally. And the tales spread after that that Anthony Quinn was so interested in embodying the character in a real way that he asked al akkad that the Egyptian actor Abdullah Gaith perform the Arab scenes before he performed his English scenes. So that he could draw inspiration from the Arab spirit from an Arab actor. And Quinn was not arrogant and did not say that he a great actor. He took care of his work until the last day and kept learning and training. The film was a great success and was nominated for one of the Oscars at the end of the year, and despite the opposition it was initially met from some Islamic countries, especially Saudi Arabia. It is now undoubtedly the best film made about the story of the early years of Islam. Lion of the Desert Omar Mukhtar is resurrected in the early 80s. Anthony Quinn made his second film with Mustafa al akkad this time in Libya, with direct funding from the Libyan state. In this film, Anthony Quinn presented what we can consider one of the greatest historical roles he performed throughout the ages. Through his embodiment of the leader of the Libyan resistance, the Lion of the Desert Omar Mukhtar, the man who fought the Italian occupation for more than 20 years, through primitive tools of war nevertheless, 
He prevented the Italians from imposing their control over Libya throughout this period. Quinn's performance as Omar Mukta showed the true essence of Arab warriors, who refused to kill captives, while at the same time receiving inhumane treatment from the Italian occupier. In this film, Quinn combined the prestige and strength of the appearance of a warrior against the occupation, as well as the kindness and tenderness that distinguish him as a spiritual father to all around him. At the end of the film, Omar Mukhtar is executed, Anthony Quinn falls, but with his influential performance he guarantees this character an overwhelming love in the Arab world. And we do not exaggerate if we say that men are so far confuse the true image of Mukta with the true image of Anthony Quinn himself.